just I find it always so funny that the people that be self-righteous always claim that the people that have been altruistic being self-righteous. The slave masters have done it with the slaves. They have said that the slaves be self-righteous. They have said that the people that fight for the freedom of the slaves be self-righteous. And they always use the law to protect their self-righteous position. Is it not funny? Take occasional on the suffering while you spare yourself the sight. If you're not being the victim. No, no, my friend. You be not the victim. No, the humans be not the victim. The being the animals. The animals, they're being the ones where we vegans do it for. Veganism is not about some question of health or some question of taste or some question of test, some t kind of uh, unbelievable selfish and myopic standpoint. No, veganism is about rights for any living being. It is about justice. A threat to do justice anywhere is a threat. It's everywhere. Artificial insemination is a euphemism for rape, just like slaughter is a euphemism for mass murder. Euphemism has been words used by puppet masters to convince people to participate in cruelty, bloodshed, injustice and inequality. It is a kind of okidoki. Don't take the okido from the slave masters, from the victimizers. Yes, my friends, if you eat milk, dairy, and eggs, you will be a speciesist. A speciesist is the arrogant belief, delusion of consciousness. That the human species is more superior than other species and therefore have the right to torture and abuse any species they choose. This mindset is not evil, only slightly evil, but it is absolutely the root of all hatreds and all forms of discrimination. Think about it. For a minute. If we learn from a young age that all, all living beings being equal, all living beings, a cow, a chicken, or a turkey, or another animal, being just as important and have the same rights to live if anybody have. How can that the children uh, grow up and think he's better than a, a black man or a white man or a well, woman or homosexuals? This is the root of all forms of discrimination. If we want to have peace on the world, on this planet, it has to go to veganism. There's no other way. This is the first form. And the essence of it all. If you're not being vegan and you pay some smack to kill billions of other living beings for you, only for your taste spots, I can say you with comfort that you don't need meat to survive. I've been for 12 years now vegan. I have no deficiency in any way. Even since I win high carb vegan, I have a, get a more hair actually. My hair becomes thicker. 
and I get more hair, more hair for the for colors. And I also find myself for more uh, happy and that kind of things. It is also not expensive as a loop. Since when is a bag of potatoes or rice or bananas or apples more expensive than meat, dairy and eggs? You don't have to find to be Einstein to figure out that conclusion. You've only to use your eyes, look to the smart and use a little bit of logic. And the only way, uh, reason that in some West countries, we tell in like recipes, be less expensive than the vegan or vegetarian one, is because there is animal products being highly subsidized by the government because they want to have your sick. I know this word being hard and controversial to you. But it don't mean that it don't be true. I have some links in the description below. Check out the website of Gary Yarovsky. Adapt the development for animal protection. Animal protection today and tomorrow. Very good website for information. And go vegan. What's the excuse for not Attentional costs are to living beings that have nothing once in their whole life harmed one human being. There is no justification for it. Stand on the side of the victims. The victimizers don't need your compassion. The only beings that need your compassion be the animals. The only ones that need your compassion, your heart, your power, your voice, be the animals. Fuck human rights, if Gary of say. One struggle, one fight, animal liberation. Destroy speciesism. That's how we can bring peace on the world. Not the other way around. This is the first, this is the most quickest and the most brilliant way to bring peace on this world. Universal compassion is the only guarantee of morality. You don't deserve more rights than another. That's the essence of morality.